What's up everybody, Derek here, and today we are at the new product showcase over here at iCast. Right back in here is all the new stuff back over there, so we are gonna go over there and walk through this and see if we can't see some new lures, and if there might be some that might be worth it. Let's go check it out. All right, look at all these sweet lures. I mean, just forever down through here. That's a nice one right there. Catch Co's got a new little bitty contender little swim bait. That's a pretty nice one. And it shows the price if you look down below. $12.99 as you see on this one right here. Got some hard lures. Little mini. So now if you want to go crankbait fishing or on the creek or anything like that, Guggen's got one. Another one right there. Spinner baits, just some cool stuff. Spoons, another one just like a little lipless mini. Rattlebot, I like that rattlebot. These things have tons of rattles in them. And you got the chatterbait. Not bad. Then the big blade chatterbait, which is pretty cool. I haven't ever used one of those, really seen much about them. Little mechanical lure it says and then you've got Berkeley swim jig I like this one this is that Jenko fishing little bait I would actually try that for some big old bass down on the river and then you got a buzz bait some crank baits with the little tail spinners on them kind of cool Thunderhawk. And then look at these. Those go like 20 to 27 foot deep. Pretty cool from Missouri. Then you got all these in here, some more crankbaits. 16 bucks for those. This is kind of interesting looking. Not sure about those with that one little hook there. You got those jabber jaws, starting to see more about those coming out. A little bit of creek fishing crankbaits, basically, just some pan fishing cranks. Daiwa's got a new jerk bait out, looks like. Some spinners down on the creek, on the river. Cool little double blade buzz spinner bait. Cool jerk baits there from Missouri. Shimano's jerk bait. I mean, there's just lures for days in here. A lot of these have probably already been kind of on the market for the most, but a lot of them are brand new too, though. I like this one. This is a dual Panther Martin, dual blade. I would love to use that on the creek. The Sea Falcon, kind of cool looking. Freshwater lure. Little jig. That's a cool one. This is one right here that I would love to try with a little spinner, a trout runner. It's got those Bobby Garland little paddle tails on it. And you got some top waters. Look, little, little popper. Long popper. Got a buzz bait, from big bite. This one's kind of interesting. It's got a little spinner on the bottom side of it on that crank. Got a lipless, square bill, good size little jig there. It's all looking pretty sweet down through here. And this is an interesting one. It's like a spiral. I guess it goes through the water making a spiral. I'm not particularly sure what that's going to be for, but kind of cool design, something to think about. That's a different design on a spinnerbait right there. Kind of cool looking. Basically almost like an underspin, but more of a spinnerbait style. And there's some cool little bitty spinners down through here. Look at the size of this glide bait. Big one. And you got the scum frogs. Got a snag proof. Good looking frog. Here's a cool looking one. 
What is that? Net bait? It's a new one. Then another, another frog. We have too much market. That's a nice one right there. Just a crawl. Kind of a buzzing frog right there. Got some cool looking lures in here. A leech. Never used that. I'm sure it probably works though. This is kind of a cool one I'd like to try. It's kind of mainly a topwater from grass and other stuff that you usually get snagged up in. Be kind of cool to try with that spinner on the back of it. Then you got some other little bitty paddle tails. Some Z-Man crawls. Kind of a paddle tail swimming worm, basically. Little wacky rig kit. Missile Bates has got some like miniature jig trailers basically right there. And Strike King's Rage Bug. And this is an interesting one. This one has mesh in it to kind of provide more action from Jackal. And then look at this worm. Look at the tail on that thing. Pretty cool. And then you got a drifter minnow. This is one I want to try. Lizard. They're always coming out with some cool looking, either a spider or something else, or every year they're coming out with something new from Lunker Hunt. Not a bad looking little paddle tail there. Yoda worm, the mini Yoda worm now. I like the size of that one. The regular Yoda worms a little bit too big for me sometimes for a trailer or anything like that. There's some salamanders. Then I like this topwater tataki frog. It's kind of different design with more crisp edges. Not so rounded. Looks pretty nice. And of course that the 10,000 fish headhunter. The big and the small. Then a new one. The zuki bug. Okay. Kind of cool how that how cool looking that thing looks. Then a winnow 95 from Nico. Yeah. Definitely okay. like those and the plastic on those okay. are awesome. Lunes, eh, and then look at that. Nice little frog. Okay. <laughs> and then to finish out basically the freshwater stuff right there. 13 Fishing has got into the game with some of their plastics with these crawls. Let's go check out some of the rods and reels. Well, here's all the rod and reel combos. Of course you got Quantum. With the smoke. I'm kind of particular to this neon colors now. They got the radioactive from 13 Fishing, which I like. Just because of the color simply. I don't know why everybody has to go with black all the time. And you got some good spinning reel combos. Was it Matsuo? I don't even know what they are. I think I go to Lunker Hunt's got their own little spinning combo now. Zebco's got a big old reel. The Lose with their, uh, I think that they're kicking their Bass TV, his combo. And then this is kind of a cool one. I, I like the way it looks, but it's just too expensive. This is a proficiency, proficiency, that's how I say it, but the whole rod is kind of like that color, basically. And then you got some good combos right there with, what is this one? This Quantum, Shimano, Legal Legalis Daiwa. Cool. And then all of the rods. Notice they're all black. For the most part, there's one or two that are actually a different color than black or dark blue or some color. White and white, two of them. Yeah. And here's some new reels that come out. Savage Gear makes their own reel now. But 200 bucks. A little pricey. Another Shimano Curado, 200 bucks. 
Fitzgerald Fishing. Never even heard of them before. 130, a little bit more budget friendly. Not too bad. And of course, Zebco. They got a new, new reel out, new click caster. And then Cast King, the new one. Mega Jaws Elite bait casting reel for 120. So Cast King is starting to get a little bit more expensive, looks like. And then of course, the Lose BB1 Pro. 200 bucks. It looks like it's like the 200 buck range. And that's one I would actually consider right there. $85. Abu Garcia. Seven one to one. Not too bad. Lunker Hunt. Getting in the spinning reel, not just the bait casting market. 70 bucks. A little expensive for a bait caster. Or a spinning reel, I mean. And then this bait caster right here from Akuma, 170 bucks. Well, I didn't finish an outro to this video because I wanted a little bit of time to watch the rewatch the. Well, I didn't make an outro to this video because I wanted a little bit of time to think about all the products that I seen and which ones were kind of my favorite. You guys kind of decide which ones you guys would like, but right off the bat that lunker hunt lizard is one of the top ones i just want to catch a bass on just go out there and fish away and see if i can catch a big in on lure i've never really seen before out there on the market but i've got one on order now and looks like they'll be coming out here in a couple months or so and you'll be able to get a bunch of them but the panther martin the double um bladed spinner i want to have one of those to see if i can go down in the creek and see if that actually is better than just a single bladed spinner and there were a couple others i want to try some of the guggen baits like the mini crank baits and some of those other things there were quite a few lures that were pretty cool the rods and reels were kind of just the same old same old kind of stuff different different brands different prices there wasn't a whole lot different than if you were to go to academy so nothing really mind-blowing there but let me know in the comments if there was something that kind of, you know, jumped out to you guys. There was also another top water that kind of blew my mind that kind of might be good for some grass or some other stuff. But I'd love to hear from you guys and thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.